Shalom, and thank you for tuning in to watch this week's episode of Jewish Voice with me, Jonathan Vernis. Each Monday we upload an episode, and you can also check out our previous episodes discussing a wide variety of topics concerning Messianic Judaism, Israel, and the Church, all on our channel. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any new content. Can God change your life in the next 30 minutes? I believe you're watching right now because God has something special for you. Join me for Jewish Voice and you'll discover how Bible prophecy is coming to pass before our very eyes and why you need to stand with Israel. You can play a role in God's end time plan. Find out how on Jewish Voice. Today, we're going to gain insight from a practice in Judaism that divides the scriptures into an annual reading cycle. You want to watch today because you're going to learn from an age-old principle that you'll be able to apply to your daily life. Ezra, I love this whole concept. We've been living with this, well, for most of our lives. That's right. The a portion that changes every week and brings the Jewish people into harmony. Exactly. Around the world. Talk exactly. about it. Yeah, well, Jonathan, I think, first of all, it's important to unpack a couple of terms uh, so we're all speaking the same language here, no pun intended. First of all, this idea of uh, dividing the scriptures into an annual cycle, the word for one week's, uh, one week's reading portion in Hebrew is parsha, or if we say it with a good Israeli accent, parasha. But you can think parsha is portion. It's an easy kind of word association. Uh, the Torah, and what we mean by that is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, or the five books of Moses. That's what Torah means uh, in Jewish terminology. The Torah has been divided uh, by the rabbis centuries ago into uh, about 52 reading portions, or parashiot, that's the plural for parsha, uh, so that the Jewish community worldwide can be reading the same few chapters from the Torah all together around the world in each week of the year. What's, what's, what I like so much in the synagogue uh -huh. or temple, uh, in my case, we called it a temple yeah. because I was raised in a, in a reform mm -hmm. uh, environment, mm -hmm. was that you took out the Torah scroll and it was already at the portion. That's right. And you would move the scroll right. over reading through the portion and you'd work your way through the scroll. Mm -hmm. I think that's very typical of uh, Judaism a thousand years ago or sure. two thousand years ago. How, how far back does this date? Right, it's a great question. As far as we know, without knowing you know, the exact year when this uh, Torah reading cycle was developed, what we do know is that uh, because of the disobedience of the children of Israel, we were sent into exile in Babylon. Uh, it's in the scriptures, I'm sure you've read it. And in that exile, the leaders in the Jewish community had to figure out ways to be praying the same things and reading the same things to keep the community together, to keep the Jewish community united, even in exile. And so during that time, 400, 500 BC, 600 BC, this schedule of reading and actually ancient Jewish prayers, which are still prayed today daily around the world, were developed. And so that's where we have this uh, Torah reading cycle. It's really a very ancient thing. Now, this is so applicable because this is a reading plan mm -hmm. that gets you through the entire Torah right. in a year. You're right. reading the, the first five books of Moses from Genesis, the beginning of Genesis, exactly. through Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, and we're tying it together with a portion from one of the prophets. Exactly. It's so important. And Jonathan, one of my favorite times in the year in the Jewish calendar is what's called Simcha Torah, which means joy of the word of God, joy of the Torah. And it's that time when we get to the end of Deuteronomy in the Torah scroll in the synagogue, we actually roll the thing all the way back. And it takes a few minutes. Usually there's music going on, there's celebration. We roll the thing all the way back to the beginning, to Genesis. And so it's that cycle year in, year out, from Genesis to Deuteronomy, and then we start over again. So there's so many things we can talk about when yeah. we talk about the, 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 the parasha. Mm -hmm. uh, one, one that I, I find really interesting is the idea that in the cycle of 
the year. Okay. You have different feasts, you have different festivals, mm -hmm. and uh, the attached uh, uh, half Torah uh -huh. or uh, a portion of the prophets. Mm -hmm. And it's been, the idea's been brought forth that, for example, on Shavuot or Pentecost, right. when the uh, disciples were gathered together mm -hmm. in the temple and the Holy Spirit fell, mm -hmm. that the the uh, portion of the prophets mm -hmm. read that week mm -hmm. was the uh, a story about a rushing wind from Ezekiel. Right. That a rushing wind came in, and if and that corresponds, of course, with the Holy Spirit being poured out. Awesome. I don't I don't know for sure. I don't know if we can go back to that date and say we're certain that that was the portion of the week. But it's a very interesting idea. Yeah, it's awesome. And even that idea, Jonathan, of wind and spirit, in Hebrew, it's the same word. It's ruach. Ruach, I'll say with my Israeli accent. Uh, wind and spirit is the same exact word. So the wind coming through in that story from the Haftarah of Ezekiel and the wind of the Holy Spirit coming and meeting the first believers. The idea that they're prophesied, yeah. that these are appointed times of God that took place at a very specific time yeah. that corresponds with the prophetic voice. Right. It's awesome. It is awesome. Awesome idea. The other thing that I, I, I just want to point out, and I want to hear some things from you as well, is the idea that before we read the portion, mm -hmm. we're praying. We right. have a specific prayer that we pray or recite or chant. Mm -hmm. that we also, that we're, and we're thanking God for the Torah. We're mm -hmm then closing with a prayer, mm -hmm. and then it, when we go into the portion of the prophets, we also have an opening and closing prayer. Right. This idea of praying before we read the scriptures, mm -hmm. because there, it's a living word. That's right. Thanking God after. I think there's this pattern that you learn from childhood mm -hmm. on that's so valuable that's right. for Christians that's and right. missed. That's right. It's, a, it's an esteeming of the Word of God, Jonathan, which is really a Jewish idea. I know our Christian brothers and sisters, of course, hold up the Word as, as you know, sweeter than honey on our lips and worth more than thousands of pieces of gold or silver. We know that from the Psalms. But the idea of esteeming and lifting up the Word of God as a living and active thing is a very Jewish concept. There are so thing. many patterns and traditions that we can learn as believers yeah. from the ancient sages. That's and, right. and, and I really want to encourage you to understand that one of them is the parasha, the portion of the week, and actually following through each week because they're all laid out for the whole year. So important, Jonathan, this idea of the scriptures being laid out in such a way as we can digest them in easy portions and really see them bear fruit in our own lives. You've prepared some fantastic materials that we want to get into the hands of those watching today. This is a devotional. This is, div this is in essence, parashiot, maybe not in the, in, the, in the Jewish, in the division of the Torah, but sections of scripture laid out to bear fruit in your life. Here's another explanation. Devotionals, appointments with God, devotionals related to the Jewish feasts, the Hebrew feasts on the Hebrew calendar. Fantastic materials. So Easy the idea read. is that there's a daily reading. Right. Daily. Daily we're in the scriptures. Man cannot live by bread alone. So this is a daily pursuit. Right. And devotionals are great because the thought for the day, mm -hmm. uh, in the case of hope in a future, mm -hmm. it's based on the promise that God makes to us, I have a hope in a few of a hope in a future. I have a plan for you, mm -hmm. and it's a good plan to That's prosper right. and not harm you. That's right. And uh, often mm -hmm. I find in devotionals that it directly speaks to something I'm dealing with. Mm -hmm. So I really want to encourage you today to get involved with Jewish Voice. We don't sell products. We create resources to sow into your life to bless you. That's right. As you help us to bless uh, people. Jewish people predominantly, because our ministry is to the Jew first. Mm -hmm. And I want to encourage you to become a monthly partner. We call this Shalom Partner. Uh, shalom uh, is Hebrew. It means peace, well-being, wholeness. That's right. And by becoming a Shalom Partner for $30 a month, you're going to be helping to nurture Jewish people to provide dental, medical, eye care, most importantly, the gospel. This week, we're focusing on children on development centers for children, $30 a month will help sustain Ezra a child development center. That's I want right. you to talk about that in just a moment. That's right. But I want to tell you what we also want to send you. We want to send you the Jewish Voice Tree of Life Bible. And the reason this is so significant is it breaks 
the first five books of Moses into the actual parasha. That's so right. you can follow the parasha. You don't have to get online and look for the, the parasha or the portion for that week. It's all broken down mm -hmm. in the Jewish voice, Tree of Life version Bible. So we want to sow this into your life. If you'll become a Shalom partner for $30 a month, talk about the development centers. That's right, Jonathan. $30 a month covers the tuition of a child in an early childhood development center in Zimbabwe for an entire year. And if you're able to give $300, you can support an entire school for a year. $300 is lunch money for your kids, grandkids, for most of us. But in Zimbabwe, it's to cover the cost of an entire school for an entire okay, year. Okay, $300 one-time gift will send you all the gifts to and the Bible is our way of saying thank you with the parasha of the week uh, or thirty dollars a month shalom partnership will get the Bible out to you as well here's how keeping yourself immersed in the Word of God each day will bless your life and that of your family Jonathan is encouraging you to heed the words of Psalm 119 11 I have treasured your word in my heart so I may not sin against you as you give a one-time gift of $40 or more, we'll send you not one, but two of Jonathan's most popular devotionals, Appointments with God and A Hope in a Future. Both of these devotionals are conveniently sized so you can take them with you anywhere you go. And they're packed with scriptures that will inspire and encourage you each day. Along with the devotionals, you'll also receive the Shema Keychain with the inscription in Hebrew, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Don't miss this opportunity to receive all of these resources as you support Jewish Voice Ministries with a one-time gift today of $40 or more. As Jonathan and Ezra have mentioned, your support today will enable us to provide schooling for children in Africa and allow them to receive an education as well as being taught the Bible. They will also be introduced to Yeshua and have the opportunity to receive the Messiah as their Lord and Savior. Jonathan is encouraging you to join him as a monthly Shalom partner today. Your continued monthly support is vital in providing the resources needed to continue these very important outreaches among these lost tribes in Africa. As you join us with your monthly support of just $30 today, we want to say thank you by including this exclusive Jewish Voice edition of the Tree of Life version of the Bible. As Jonathan has mentioned, this unique Bible already has the weekly portions of Scripture assigned, which make it so easy to plan your Bible reading. Join Jonathan today as a Shalom partner and receive all these resources for your ongoing generous support of just $30 a month. Your gift today is changing lives, not just meeting the physical needs of individuals who so urgently require our help, but also making it possible to share the love of Jesus with these precious children in a very real and personal way. You know, $300 is for our children here in North America, lunch money for a month or two. But in Zimbabwe, for Jewish children and their neighbors, it's the difference between 10 to 20 children having education for a year or having nothing at all. Please get involved today. $300 will sponsor a school in what feels to us like the middle of nowhere, but it's a home, it's a village for Jewish people. Sponsor a school for an entire year. Please get involved. Call our 800 number now and let our representative know what level of giving you would like to participate in. Your one-time gift today will be used to bring the gospel of hope to thousands around the world. If you would, please consider joining Jonathan as a monthly Shalom partner. Your ongoing partnership with Jonathan of just $30 a month would be greatly appreciated. If you prefer, you can always choose to give online at jewishvoice.tv or you can also donate by mailing your gift to the address on the screen. Thank you for your generous support of Jewish Voice and for making a difference in so many lives through your sacrifice. Now, let's rejoin Jonathan and Ezra. Ezra, we're talking about this unique weekly reading. That's the, right. The Padasha, the, the uh, just give us a background again. Sure. This goes back 
quite far. This goes back a couple millennia, actually, to ancient Jewish communities that were trying to figure out how do we stay cohesive and unified in the midst of being scattered among the nations. And one of the ways that we did that, in addition to uh, developing a set of prayers which are prayed daily by Jews around the world, is this division of the Torah, the first five books in the Bible, into uh, a schedule about 50 to 52 parashiot, or portions, such that the entire first five books of the Bible can be read every year. So in fact, you're reading the whole scroll. That's right. The whole Torah scroll, and then you're rolling it back to the beginning. That's right. Uh, and there's a special celebration when we start again. Right, Jonathan, it's called Simcha Torah, and that means Simcha is joy or gladness, and Torah, of course, is Torah. And so Simcha Torah happens right around Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles, every fall on the Hebrew calendar, and it's joy of the Word of God. And so whether people are Orthodox, Conservative, Reformed, Messianic Jews like us who believe Jesus is the Messiah, we parade and dance and rejoice around the synagogue while the scroll is being rolled back from the end of Deuteronomy to the beginning of Genesis. And so we start the cycle over and again. It's, event for, it's an event that children love so much. I remember celebrating this as a child. That's right. Dancing around. And it was joyful, and, and I, you learn to appreciate the Word of God. Yeah, it's such an important festival. You know, Jonathan, one of the things that strikes me, and for those watching at home, maybe you're on a Bible in the year calendar, right? Read through the Bible in a year, or read through the New Testament in a year. If you're doing it, chances are it's probably not the first time you've done it, and it's probably not the last time you're going to do it. Why do we repeat a cycle of Bible reading over and over again? And I think... You know, the Lord knew when he said these words are supposed to be in your, in your mouth and in your heart, he knew that we as humans are prone to forget. Jew and Gentile alike, we tend to forget what we We read. are, and we're commanded not to forget and to transmit this to our children. That's How right. do we do that? Through repetition. Right. Teach your children. Year after year, we celebrate the feasts. Right. Year after year, we read from the Haggadah, exactly. the, the uh, uh, order of service, and we tell the story of Passover. Year after year, mm -hmm. we're reading through this cycle. Right. And we're saying the same prayers. And it's, it's, I think this is a, a revival of sorts hmm. that I'm hearing about more and more Christians that want to tap into mm -hmm the Jewish roots of their faith, mm -hmm. uh, and some of them are writing to us and saying, we want to follow this reading cycle. Exactly. There's portions from the Torah, as you said. There's portions from what's called the Haftarah, or the writings and the prophets. Interestingly, you can also find New Testament portions attached to those uh, Torah portions, and often you can see where Jesus was, in fact, is, in fact, the fulfillment of what Moses was talking about. So important, so much depth there. I remember every year at, at Rosh Hashanah hearing the story because the, the, the focus is on Abraham offering his son Isaac. Right. So that was the, through repetition. Mm -hmm. I learned again and again and again That's right. about Abraham, the father of our people, mm -hmm. who was so faithful to God mm -hmm. and so filled with faith that he was willing to offer his son mm -hmm if need be, because mm -hmm. God had commanded it. Sure, and you know, I can remember stories growing up, actually in your congregation, Jonathan, in Shabbat school, though I misbehaved <laughs> a lot, I did pay attention from time to time. And you know, I can remember the story of Noah's Ark, but I didn't hear it once, and I didn't hear it twice. I heard it every year, because it needed to be solidified in my mind. And you, are, who are parents or grandparents, right? You're not telling a Bible story once, you're telling it over and over and over again. We as adults, too, need to hear the word over and over again so it sinks into our hearts. I think we make a mistake as believers that there's one experience, sure. that there's one infilling, that, that, that there's, yes, we're immersed in water once, we're born again one time, but it's all about a repetition of being filled with the Spirit and being filled again and again and again. That's right. Reading the Bible every day and being filled. And, and there's something so powerful mm -hmm. about repetition. Mm -hmm. There really is. Right. And it, it eventually, I think here's the reason. It's, it's, it's uh, Romans 10, 17, mm -hmm. which says, Faith cometh by hearing, mm -hmm. and hearing by the Word of God. I think there's two kinds of hearing, Ezra. Mm -hmm. I think there's a natural hearing, which, which is through our ears, but then there's a spiritual hearing, which is through our heart or through our spirit. How do you hear the second time by hearing the first time enough? Wow. Repetition. Right. So important. We have, you know, there's, there's a, a prayer in the Jewish prayer book, and it says, 
that God commands us to lay up these words from the Torah in our heart and in our lives. And the word there in Hebrew for lay up is like you make deposits into an account. You're to store up, like depositing little by little by little, depositing his word into our heart and into our lives. Listen, little you, by you, little. you can't live by bread alone. There's physical feeding, but there's also spiritual feeding. And this has to be a daily process mm -hmm. of reading the word, of meditating on the word. What happens when you meditate right. on the word? And it's not just talking about thinking about it. It's, it's, it's confessing it. It's mm -hmm. speaking it forth. Mm -hmm. What happens is that you're being cleansed. You're being renewed. The Bible says that when we wake up in the morning, and this is my paraphrase, mm -hmm. that we're at enmity. There's a resistance to the things mm -hmm. of God. And I experience that uh, all the time. Mm -hmm. But as I pray, as I spend time in his word, I get washed. And there, that, that, the, the magnet, when you turn it one way, repels. That's right. And then you turn it the other way and it attracts. That's right. And part of the way that we're attracted to God and to his destiny for our lives is to spend time in the word of God. When? Uh, for me in the morning, but day after day after day, it's about repetition. Turning the magnet, Jonathan. You need to turn the magnet. I need to turn the magnet. You at home need to turn the magnet. One of the best times to do that for me, I think for you also, is in the morning. And we've prepared, you've prepared some great devotionals. First of all, appointments with God, walking through the significance for you as a believer about the Hebrew or the Jewish feasts on the Hebrew calendar. Also, just a daily devotional, 90 days here to get you through three months of the year. Turn that magnet every day. We need to. Ezra, the hope in the future one is 90 days based on a book I wrote mm -hmm. uh, that is pr uh, focused on the promise that God makes to the children of Israel, but to all of us by application. Right. I have a plan for you. God has a plan for your life, and it's a good plan not to bring evil, but to give you a hope and a future. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways that we discover that hope, we enter into that hope and destiny is through the word of God. So I'm a big believer in devotionals, in reading the word of God every day. We wanna sow them into your life. And uh, we have a special gift that I wanna send you. And here's how to get it, by becoming a Shalom partner. We need your ongoing partnership and we're focusing this week on children. Mm -hmm. We are helping to build ministry to children. We want to sow the seed into little children. That's right. Jesus sowed the seed into little children. He said, don't keep the little children away. Mm -hmm. They need to hear so they won't depart when they're older. And by becoming a Shalom partner, you're going to help us to support uh, our outreach to children on a monthly mm -hmm. basis and as, a, as our way of saying thank you, we also want to include the Jewish Voice Tree of Life version. Now, the reason I like this so much, one reason is because every parashah is broken down. Mm -hmm. So you, could, you don't have to uh, go online to find them. It actually has the breakdown of the portions through the Torah. And right. uh, we want to get that out to you. Or another thing you can do, if, if you don't want to become a monthly partner, is to give a, a one-time $300 gift. That's going to help us for a whole year with our children child development centers, and we'll also get you the Tree of Life Bible. Very quickly, yeah. talk about the child centers. Yeah, super excited about this part of our ministry, Jonathan. These are actually schools that are accredited by the Zimbabwe National Ministry of Education. So it's not just a Sunday school, a Shabbat school. It's actually preschool and kindergarten education clearly, overtly faith-based, proclaiming Jesus to these children and young people. So powerful. In Zimbabwe, yeah. we're talking about a new army of children. So become a Shalom partner with your monthly support, $30 a month. Your one-time gift of $300 will be sown into children so that they can hear the word of God and grow. Here's how you become a Shalom partner. Keeping yourself immersed in the Word of God each day will bless your life and that of your family. Jonathan is encouraging you to heed the words of Psalm 119.11. I have treasured your word in my heart, so I may not sin against you. As you give a one-time gift of $40 or more, we'll send you not one, but two of Jonathan's most popular devotionals, Appointments with God and A Hope in a Future. Both of these devotionals are conveniently sized so you can take them with you anywhere you go. And they're packed with scriptures that will inspire and encourage you each day. 
Along with the devotionals, you'll also receive the Shema Keychain with the inscription in Hebrew, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Don't miss this opportunity to receive all of these resources as you support Jewish Voice Ministries with a one-time gift today of $40 or more. As Jonathan and Ezra have mentioned, your support today will enable us to provide schooling for children in Africa and allow them to receive an education as well as being taught the Bible. They will also be introduced to Yeshua and have the opportunity to receive the Messiah as their Lord and Savior. Jonathan is encouraging you to join him as a monthly Shalom partner today. Your continued monthly support is vital in providing the resources needed to continue these very important outreaches among these lost tribes in Africa. As you join us with your monthly support of just $30 today, we want to say thank you by including this exclusive Jewish Voice edition of the Tree of Life version of the Bible. As Jonathan has mentioned, this unique Bible already has the weekly portions of Scripture assigned, which make it so easy to plan your Bible reading. Join Jonathan today as a Shalom partner and receive all these resources for your ongoing generous support of just $30 a month. Your gift today is changing lives, not just meeting the physical needs of individuals who so urgently require our help, but also making it possible to share the love of Jesus with these precious children in a very real and personal way. You know, $300 is for our children here in North America, lunch money for a month or two. But in Zimbabwe, for Jewish children and their neighbors, it's the difference between 10 to 20 children having education for a year or having nothing at all. Please get involved today. $300 will sponsor a school in what feels to us like the middle of nowhere, but it's a home, it's a village for Jewish people. Sponsor a school for an entire year. Please get involved. Call our 800 number now and let our representative know what level of giving you would like to participate in. Your one-time gift today will be used to bring the gospel of hope to thousands around the world. If you would, please consider joining Jonathan as a monthly Shalom partner. Your ongoing partnership with Jonathan of just $30 a month would be greatly appreciated. If you prefer, you can always choose to give online at jewishvoice.tv or you can also donate by mailing your gift to the address on the screen. Thank you for your generous support of Jewish Voice and for making a difference in so many lives through your sacrifice. Now, let's rejoin Jonathan and Ezra. Ezra, I'm gonna yeah. turn it over to you and we're gonna, we're gonna pray together for those that are watching that need a touch from God. Amen, well, let's pray real quickly. Lord, we thank you thank that your you, word Lord. is living and active and we pray today for each one watching that thank you, you would bring your word, your promises to pass from your word and promises you've spoken to them by your spirit. You, bring those things to pass speedily and soon yes, Lord. that you would meet needs, not just meet, but abundantly beyond yes. all we could ask or imagine and that you would abundant, meet the needs abundant, in such a way as they would become a testimony in our brothers and sisters, families you, and communities, a yes, testimony Lord. of your mercy, a testimony of yes, your healing Lord. power, a testimony of your provision and faithfulness. And we pray it in Jesus' name. In, in the Yeshua's name of Yeshua, we agree. Amen, amen. and amen. If you'd like more information about our ministry, we'd love to hear from you. And it's so easy. You can just log on to our website. It's jewishvoice.tv. One word, jewishvoice.tv. Also, you can send us your prayer requests. We will pray for your need personally. Mm -hmm. Every mm -hmm. one of you that send us a prayer request will get prayer for that That's right. request. I also want to uh, encourage you to become a Shalom partner. Thank you for your support today. And as we close the program, I want to remind you to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. The Bible says they shall prosper who love thee. On behalf of Ezra Benjamin and myself, this is Jonathan Bernis saying shalom and God bless you. Be sure to join us next week as Jonathan and Ezra discuss the miraculous healing power of God.